A 59-year-old man was admitted for cholestatic liver function tests and epigastric pain. Abdominal sonography showed a suspicious mass within the head of the pancreas. At initial ERC, papilla and periampullary area appear unremarkable, and the common bile duct is easily cannulated. Injection of contrast media reveals a dilation of the common bile duct in the middle portion and a 35 mm high-grade stenosis of the intrapancreatic portion. It is important to have a close look at the delineation of the stenosis. Here we see a smooth delineation without irregularities, suggesting a compression of the duct rather than an intraductal neoplasia. In a next step, pancreatography is attempted. To achieve cannulation of the pancreatic duct, the angle is altered since the pancreatic duct typically follows a more horizontal course compared to the bile duct. The pancreatic duct is cannulated at the one o'clock position of the papilla. Pancreatography shows a filling defect with the pancreatic head, but dilated duct in the body and tail. This constellation, with a simultaneous stenosis of the intrapancreatic portion of the bile duct and the pancreatic duct, is called a double duct sign. It is highly suggestive of a neoplasia within the pancreatic head, but importantly, it is not diagnostic. In a next step, radial endosonography is performed for detailed visualization of the pancreas. Positioning the radial transducer in the duodenal bulb offers an optimal view of the distal common bile duct. The dilated middle portion and the compression of the distal portion near the papilla is easily recognized. In the close vicinity of the CBD, there are also some suspicious lymph nodes that are enlarged, roundish, and hypoechoic. In another section, the pancreatic head is focused. It contains an irregular, inhomogeneous lesion and is surrounded by enlarged lymph nodes. The tumor interrupts the pancreatic duct and the bile duct with prestenotic dilation of the ducts. Here we can study in detail the endosonographic aspect of the double duct sign. We also note that the lesion does not respect the limitations of the pancreas but infiltrates the peripancreatic tissue. The portal vein is located right behind the pancreatic head. The lesion is adjacent to the portal vein but does not infiltrate it. In conclusion, the tumor stage corresponds to a T3N1 pancreatic carcinoma.